All right. Why is this so fucky? Why are you so fucky? Oh, my stars. All right. The windows are spazzing the heck out. There we go. I think we got it. Oh, it wants to play in like 50 by 500 height. Are we good, Tome? Are you doing all right? I want to know what this is in our background. That was apparently an image. I'm laughing so hard. Well, good on you, Taco. Bless your heart. I hope you're having a good time. There we go. That looks better. Lyra, I don't know if there is a gladiator. All right, Lyra. Pick from this list here. You see these? Those, there's those guys. Berserker, Bulwark. Oh, let me put the, let me update the title real fast, too. Yeah, Lyra's got a pick because she hates the game. The worst one. Well, that could be all kinds. All right, so you have, uh, you got a list here. Uh, we could put the Wilder down, too, I suppose, and the the, the Defiler. Uh, no, I don't like the Defiler. Uh, oh, we unlocked the Chronomancer. I don't know how I felt about Time Warden. But, all right, so we got Bull, uh, Berserker, Bulwark, Archer, Arcane Blade. We did Brawler last time, so I, I think think no Brawler. Rogue, Shadow Blade, Skirmisher, Alchemist, Archimagia, Summoner which I do have a summoner run going, so I could just load that up. Or Wormrick. Take your poison. What's your pick? Pick Accountant. We don't have that one unlocked yet. We got to play more Tome. We have to play a little bit more uh, before we unlock that class, Ducky. <sighs> Waiting on Lyra's pick. The whole chat is literally looking at Lyra waiting. Defiler. Okay. Uh, the Defiler. That was the Doombringer. Man, that's what we tried last time. Whatever. All right. Baby Lyra. Hold on. How about, how about five years old? It will be this character's name. There you go. How about uh, five year old? There we go. Perfect. Uh, and what do they like? They like a strength and magic. Well, I like dwarf. Let's play dwarf. Perfect. Ah, oh, nipple fart would have been a good one too. <laughs> oh shit! I think this is what we unlocked the last time when we played. Let's see about maxing this out here. All right, this should be over a little bit. Character is literally banned right away. Immediately banned. Problem with this class is I don't know the class well, so I actually have to read everything. But I like Wraith form. I guess I like Draining Assault. Um, I guess we like that. We'll go with those. Oh, you just dabble in a lot of those. And we'll hide Corruption. Horrifying Blows. Your successful melee attacks. Yeah, let's take that. Bane light, I'm already in bed. <laughs> Gets up and walks away. Can't even make it to bed. Oh, we're gonna need a little magic too. Actually, we need a lot of magic. Dwarf not good for magic. I'm not really sure what Daze even does. I'm sure it's useful, but I just want to slap things with my melee stick. All right, there we go. Put a point in Heart of Fire. What's that one? That's right, this is the class you hacked, plays. I died real fast on this thing last time. Heart of Fire. Which one's that? Well, this is cool. Whenever you kill a burning enemy. Interesting. Excuse me, you hacked. What's Heart of Fire? What are you asking for? Is that something I can even take? Or are you just being weird? Heart of Fire is a sweet Castlevania song. Ooh, baby. Time to leave. Okay, you hack lying. You hack as bad as taco trucks anymore. I swear to God. Hearts of Fire. Heart. What is that, Hammerfall? God, I haven't heard that song forever. Is that Hammerfell? Hammerfell, Hammerfall? Look how much damage you take in this place. It's kind of nutty. The Heart of... Oh, um... 
Crack, Brutality, Shadow Flame Combat. Heart of Fire Tree. Fear Fire? Oh, uh, Corruption Hexes. Yeah, I don't... First skill of the Heart of Fire skill tree. Am I going over it? Oh, right here, this guy. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll take that. We'll take that when we get a point. If we get a point. We might just die. Oh, you're talking about the Rocky Hearts on Fire. Hearts on Fire. My resolution's all fucked up. I wonder if we can fix that. Yeah, I'm just going to re-log real fast to fix the UI. And hopefully, uh, five-year-old baby jail is still here when we get back. When you resize things, the quick bar likes to go off to the side. When are we playing Curse of Darkness? Are those the, the newer ones? Those didn't look interesting. Those looked like, like, God of War-style games. Which I did consider playing God of War today. And maybe we will at some point in the future, because the OG ones look like they... I don't know, they feel like gaming history. Like, when I think of PlayStation, I think of Tomb Raider, I think of God of War. I think of Final Fantasy. GTA. What the fuck is that lava? Uh, this is hell. This is the, the hellscape, I think. And we've got to get off of this plane of death. It's like Pokemon and Dynasty Warriors. Really? That sounds cool. It was Castlevania? Are you in, it's, it's a hellscape, dude. Hellscape. See, this game is hell. Well, once we get out of here, I know uh, one of our skills I read is that it lets us summon people to this plane. And when we're here, we're stronger. So we like, we trap them in our realm. All right, you act really liked the idea of burning sacrifice. Considering blows will always trigger on this attack. Okay. And incinerating blows. Infuses your weapon fire damage. So yeah, every time I melee something, it lights on fire, basically. And every time you attack, there's a chance that they're going to burst into more flames. What's not to like about that? I like the sound of that a lot. Nine Vin. So spell power is going to be important for those bits. I mean, hard not to take a lot of this stuff. That's free crit damage, dude. I don't know. There's, there's a lot of good stuff here. A lot of good stuff. Um... Yeah, let's take that. I mean, it's 4% crit chance, too. What's not to love? Do we have any auras we're supposed to turn on? Yeah, horrifying blows, so we need that. I remember really not liking this zone when I played offline. So I like to just zoom through things. And one, shit actually hits hard here, because it's hell. As it do. But do you can't quick explore. I'll keep that in mind, you hack. Yeah, this bit right here, I remember. Every time I quick explore, it brings me to a fucking door. Puts you up here. That's our charge. At least it's our charge for right now. Probably bring these down just a little bit too. I feel like having hotkeys on them would be handy for this bit. I can actually click on. Of all the Lord of the Rings games, it's just like a short explanation of each of them. Like I said, I watched that one that you were talking about. It didn't look bad, but I, I always get a little wary streaming GBA games, or particularly GBA games, if they've got a lot of detail on the screen. Yeah, I think Two Towers was the one I looked at. Was there another one you were thinking? Well, again, it looked neat. It's just like all the little details. They're going to get blown up and pixelated. Even Castle, the GBA Castlevania's got that way a bit. I remember playing them on the OG console and they looked great at the time. No wonder Lear doesn't like this game. It's ugly. It's ugly, spiffy, but it's beautiful on the inside. If you like, I'll gift you a copy. 
So, all right, Spiffy, let me give you the rundown. I think I gave everybody else the rundown of how this works. Uh, everything is turn-based. So when I take my turn, he gets his turn, and it executes. There's tons of synergy. There's tons of unlockables. There's tons of character customization in terms of build. I mean, it's, it's really just glorious. I do like this attack that uh, gets a free auto attack afterwards. That's cool. When we kill something, it cleaves an adjacent target. 19 to 28 Great Maul. Ooh. On crit, splash the target with acid damage. I mean, that sounds tempting, but I'll just take raw damage right now. The old GBA only had four buttons. Yeah, A, B, and uh, the two triggers, right? Or bumpers? Like, it was a beautiful system for the time, though. It really was. Oh, we need level four as well for you, huh? So many good ones, not easy to choose. Well, it reduces accuracy so they have a harder time hitting you. This is all good stuff. All good stuff. Well, you still just play Fire Emblem over and over, so not much has changed. Eight stacks. So we could reduce... What's this? Reduce damage done. We're only going to get one hit before that. Well, I guess when we're when we're wailing on a boss, which is a lot of the endgame stuff, reducing their attack would be nice. Also, slows. Level five can horrify. Shit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I want. I think I'd like more in these skills. So we're just going to save our generics. This is a lot of generics we could take here, but I don't think we should. Uh, Wraith form requires magic. Let's magic up. Wraith form is very good as well. It's going to give us uh, ability to hold our breath, which is ridiculously helpful for late game. Actually, well, maybe we pass on it for right now, though, and go to some of these other talents. What are you? Bigger hit, uh, more damage. From your dot, random adjacent enemy in power. Centering blows always triggers on this attack, dealing more. Yeah. I mean, this seems great. I like that a lot. I do. Last talent of oppression makes it really worth it later on. Wooden vest. Hmm. Yeah, they can't act. All right, let's do that. That's it. That, oh, man. That does sound, that sounds really good. I'm, I'm going back and forth on it. This is the problem with a class like this. There's so much. Eric J, have a good night, man. Take it easy. I'm tempted to use these, too, because it heals a whole bunch. All right, I'm going to go Wraith Form. Wraith Form is defensive, so. <laughs> problem is i got to remember to actually use Wraith Form. It's amazing how much more damage things in this zone do than the other starter areas. This place clobbers you. Wow, I think they just cleaved down the other. Oh, it's great for that too, you hacked. Uh, what's, the, what's the highest level you've been? I'm trying to see if you've been to one dungeon or not. Well, you might have seen me do it too, so I don't think it's too much spoilers. But there's a particular dungeon in this game where you have to follow the sandworms around and they clear tunnels for like, I don't know, eight turns? 16. So you've probably seen at least the sandworms area. And man, that part of the game is so dangerous. Like, I, I always want to do more there. But it, all it takes is one knockback, one root, whatever, and you just die. But if you have wraith form, you can just wraith right through the sand. Ah, yeah, so, okay, you got it with the Arcane Blade. That's rough. What are we lacking? We're actually low on stamina. Funny. A lot of characters I play never run out of stamina. Fuck is this? Tracking Control Crystal. Assuming direct control. Frying pan abilities. Come on, they could have at least given him cool stuff. 
Combat veterans useful to put in too. Dude, combat veterans always good. That whole tree is pretty solid. The heal's great too. Like you shouldn't sleep on the, the hots. My, uh, my unarmed fighter, I think, had like 45 health regeneration per turn. So most things just couldn't even hurt him because he just always heal up right away. Watch as I turn this frying pan into a drying pan. It was way more twisted afterwards when he clocked Misty in the head with her and told her with it and called it a dying pan. When are you gonna play Monster Hunter Rise? Oh god. Probably not on stream, I don't know. Oh shoot. Is that the end for this place? No, there was something up here. Monster Hunter Rise, huh? After that pan, I need to or play. I fucked up your joke, Mikers. I'm sorry. Chat's just going to have to read it for the full effect. All right. What the fuck was this? Big scary jam. That gym didn't want to do nothing. He said, fuck that. I'm afraid of this dude. Oh, there we go. Planner controller. Fuck him up! Fuck him up! Big time. Ooh, that wasn't bad at all. Ooh, look at that! No way, a two-handed weapon when we actually use two-handed weapons. That's a goddamn miracle. What do you do? Imbue the hammer with a gem of your choice. I don't have any gems, but we will eventually. Wonder if we can find some ones with magic in them to help boost that up. Well, hey, I'm happy with that. Uh, we Funny story, I got...
You're getting angry, probably. Giant rat just hit me and threw me across the room. What a colossal being. Who the hell is you? I'm trying to think how we can stack our terror faster. I guess dual weapon would be nice for that, but we don't really have the capability of spec in that way. Got here. Grounding belt. I mean, it's resist. It's shit, but it's resist. Oh, it was this dungeon. Okay. Well, fuck yeah. That means we can just immediately roll over here. I like this one. This is the snowy elf dungeon. Nice and straightforward. Usually has an escort. I mean, whew. it's top tier gaming. This is a two hand, right? Okay. Kind of looks like he's got it in one hand there, like a fucking beast. What a beast. 26 strength. All right, let's go. We got massive armor now. Whether that's worth it or not, I don't freaking know, but we're going to try it on for size. Dude, I agree, Oak. I love this game. I really do. There's something there's something so unbelievably addictive about it to me. And what I don't understand is is how And this game's overwhelmingly positive on um on Steam. I don't understand how there's not something this deep that's come out from a bigger company. I assume going 3D means that it takes so much longer to blossom out the skills that you put into the game and all the other shit. But I, I would just, I'd love to see a big company take a stab at something and, and stick with depth. Yeah, but Risk of Rain feels nowhere near as deep to me. Yeah, I, yeah, it probably is pretty scary for them. This motherfucker right here. He's just running around. He's trying to freeze me and shit. How about I run away? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's plenty of good roguelike action games. But, like, you really have to play this game just to, just to feel how much there's this going on for it. <laughs> right, Masha? I think there's, like, three DLCs for this. Really, all you need to do... Is, uh, is add in, you know, more higher level content... Um, new class unlocks, like achievements linked to those. Because I, I just have fun hunting after things. Like, that's super fun to me. Be like, oh shit, I need to make a rogue and hit for more than 600 damage in a single hit. Which is way harder than I thought, by the way. But doing that allegedly will uh, make it so that <clears throat> we can unlock another class. Just all damage. All right. Well, we can put one stat in. One to all stat? Cool. I mean, even just adding classes ain't that hard. It was 400 damage on this class. You should have seen... Dude, that fighter from our last playthrough? Ooh, minus 60 death. Yes. Uh, I was getting regular 1800 attacks. It was so nuts. And he was so... T I mean, that character was a god. I died to a boss... I, I screwed up, and I was chasing something with the boss on me, and the boss got me stuck in a corner with a ton of summons, and he... I don't know what he did to finally kill me, but... Yeah, Brawler, with the build that I did, which I, I could cook up a, a build for anyone that wanted to try it, give some actual numbers, but that was real wild. But the Rogue thing, it has to be in a single hit. It specifies, like, you've got... You've got um, an attack where you leap and guarantee crit, with both your weapons, that doesn't count. It's got to be a single hit from one of the weapons. Like, how do you even do that much? I'm guessing it's late game. Sure, and the, the, the damage really blossoms out in general. The reason it was so good on that other thing was because it was the five-point haymaker hitting that hard. But the triple strike was starting to hit for like, I don't know, eight, nine hundred, too. It, it, it felt good to play. And really, damage is, is never really going to be my problem, even if I'm on a lower damage class. It's all about survivability. I mean, you can sit there and trade forever. I wanted to chase him down. Can I still chase him down? Good. Get him out of here. 
I like that your uh, your big two-handed hit heals on this guy, too. I feel like that's got a lot of potential. I do not die super fast as summoner. I make it to, like, 13, and I get one shot by range crap. Um, Always summon things and stay back is what I did. I think I got to, like, 18 or 19. I'd put a... um. I'd put a lot into Constitution, probably. I mean, some loot's gonna matter on that, too. Like, if you don't get any good physical reduction robe or something like that. The volcano is rough. I would, um... If you're 13 in the volcano, I'd look for other things to level up on. The, the final boss in the volcano is extremely tough. And if you can find lightning resistance, maybe save it for there, too. Lightning and fizz. Because he's got all these fucking storm giants that just chuck... Like, you'll get, like, three or four chain lightnings in one turn. And that's killed a few of my characters. Your escape shift teleports you directly in the middle of a shit mess. You may just die if you don't know what you're getting into. I don't think I'm going to mess with the fear escape. <laughs> it's, I mean, it sounds like it could be good. Volcano? Yeah, it's Daikatana. Oh, the bear just pulled me in. Yikes. Keep a save at level 8 Hate redoing the first hour I agree And you do get better But the summoner is also Probably one of the slower Starts I think I think the summoner Once you, once you get like 5 or 6 or whatever And you get your um, Your hydra I don't Again it depends what tree You're going down I went down the hydra tree And between hydra and firebug I would just alternate them and always have one of them out. And then I have the turtle for backup. I saw in my most recent attempt at a summoner, there was a um, master, what is it? There's a, there's a thing that overcharge, like when you summon, it doesn't affect, which was kind of a neat idea. And the turtle had a heal on him. So I liked the turtle for that. Um, the Hydra had some weak ass AOE dot I didn't give a crud about. But the, uh, the Hydra's lightning was so good. Oh my god, it did so much damage when I was playing it. Now you could the thing with the Hydra is you could cheese off stream to or off site too. So I'd like stay back and I'd spawn it ahead. So I like the firebug too, because he's uh he's ranged. So you can spawn him ahead and he'll just take care of stuff for you. But summoner's definitely one of the slower classes. Distract a double stack fearscape shift with an item and use demon form that heals you in fearscape. Interesting. Yeah, instant full here would be cool. I, yeah, I, I haven't really messed with Fearscape, so I don't know what that looks like. But that could be great for getting out of bad situations, too. Like, that's...
We'll check the shop first. Scout's honor, then we'll stop. What do we got? Shady library. I don't care about no library. I don't need no books. Runes. That's what we want. Teleport. Mana surge. Blink. No, nope, don't want any of that. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah. See it all that you hacked. That's where we're going. Right here, right now. Guys, thank you for joining me through Metal Storm, whose name I will probably forget. Uh, excellent game. Had a really good time with it. We will also have a good time, I'm sure, with Kingsfield. Uh, technically, too. It'll be the first Kingsfield US, though. So, um, it's a first-person dungeon crawler. If it's like the other one, it was pretty challenging at first, and then we got to see our build blossom. Well, build, quote-unquote. You kind of just pick up shit and go. But uh, I had a really good time with that one. It seemed like chat was really into it, too. So I'm hoping we can recreate that magic. We are going to be playing a long, darkest dungeon playthrough probably in a week, maybe a week, week and a half, something like that. Uh, we'll do the same thing we always do, naming characters after chat, which is always a brilliant time. People have a blast with it. And uh, that should be pretty great. So really looking forward to that. Uh, so we'll plant a couple shorter games in between Kingsfield and Darkest Dungeon, let's say a night or two, and then we'll hop into it. So that's probably what our next uh, next month is looking like, depending on how long Dungeon takes. But yeah, looking forward to it. Guys, thank you again for keeping me company tonight. We'll see you all tomorrow. Until then, be safe, everybody.